what's up YouTube it is me yet again and I thought this time I would do a highly 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 requested video um you guys might have requested it it's gonna be my makeup collection and storage video yay finally right um I don't know I've been getting loads and loads and loads of requests um but I try to stay away from it the main reason why I didn't want to do this type of video um at first was because a lot of people think it's like a form of bragging. So I hope it doesn't come across that way. No way am I trying to brag about what I have or anything like that. I don't even have too, too much compared to a lot of other people out there. Um, but I thought I would share with you guys, it was my one year on YouTube, probably like a week and a half ago on the 18th of April. And today's the 28th, so I thought this would be my little gift to you guys for saying just thanks for being there, for supporting me, and for subscribing. Um, you guys are awesome. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I guess I'll just take you around like this little makeup station and this bin thing right here, ouch, and show you um, my collection and some storage ideas. So. I hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned. Alright, so it's going to be a more detailed look on my little uh, makeup area type station table thing. Alright, so on this side of my table, I have down here, as you can see, like books and stuff, things I'm studying for, PCATs, my diet and exercise daily log, which is pretty awesome started working out again about last month, so it's been about a month already. Then this right here, oops, oops, <laughs> just um, like weight, body fat, and all that on a daily basis. So use that every day. Okay, and then up top right here is my MacBook hard drive, and then to the right of this um, little shelf thingy, I have this cube picture thing. Uh, just pictures of my friends and stuff. Pretty awesome. I like this cube thing. And then to the right is also um, like two little Hello Kitty figurine type things. Love the piano, so I really, really like this one. Alright. And then down below, I have um, my MAC brush roll, which is right here. And I'll open that up real quick for you guys. One sec. Let me display it real quick. Oops. Okay, so that's what that looks like. So I have the 150, 129. I'm just going to name a couple of them. 116, 168, 165, 131. Some other ones. 187, 224, 222. The 223 right here. 217, 219, 227 back there. Um couple other brushes right here. There's some in the um, the pocket to the side and I also have some kabuki brushes but that's elsewhere so I don't know if you'll see it but that's that. And then um, put that over there and I have my MAC Hello Kitty um, little makeup bag thing and then under the shelf thing I have this acrylic um, box thing and in the first drawer oops, this is where I keep like my everyday makeup so I don't have to like search for it. So this is the first drawer. I have um, like primers and stuff in this one. So I have like my powder that I use like every, every, every day. Um, a primer that I'm using right now. This lash serum thing. Primer potion. Concealers. Some eyeliners. And yeah. So let me put that one back real quick. And I'll take out the second one. Put it right there. The second one right here has um, the light sweep and shade stir. And let's see. It's actually already hitting pan on that one. So use that every day to contour. Have um, Cheek and Cheerful Mineralized Blush. A Cheeky Bronze MSF. And Soft and Gentle. Right there. And then on um, the last one, I have just like lip products and 
these luster drops from MAC. Skin Salve, Burt's Bees, uh, my favorite lipstick which is Freckle Tone, and um, a lip brush and some other stuff. So that's that. Alright, and then moving um, to the right, have my um, phone, wallet, some makeup books right there. And then I have that pigment box thing and just put like pens and stuff in it. And then um, my wax figurine of my hand that I got from Vegas. And then um, uh, my jewelry tree, which I actually made really, really inexpen inexpensive <laughs> um, little project that I did to hold um, like earrings, bracelets, and all that stuff, hair ties. It's an actual tree branch. Fix it up a bit and um, put it on the stand. All right, and then, um, yep, to the right, I have my palettes. And um, so I have the um, Alice in Wonderland back there, right by the tree. Let me pull these closer real quick. Uh, oops. So um, most of these are Coastal Scents palettes. I have um, the Creative Me palette. Let me just open that one up real quick. Show you what it looks like. Oops. So that's what that one looks like. I have one MAC palette in here. It's my only blush palette. Show you what that one looks like. Oops. Okay, I don't. You guys have seen this like in my hauls, so you can look at that to look at the colors. But the 42 double stack from Coastal Scents, a concealer palette. This one's a 10 um, pan blush palette. 28 neutral palette. This one's the um, hold on. Uh, blush and contour palette from Coastal Scents, and the 88 regular palette, the 88 ultra shimmer, and the last one is the warm palette, 88 warm. Alright, so that is that. Okay, and then to the right are my MAC palettes, and a list that I have going on. Let me pull that one closer. Ugh. So I have five MAC palettes. They're not all full, so first one, I guess I'll show you these ones real quick. They're not full. This one's my highlight palette, and you can tell I use that one a lot. Um, this one is my neutral palette, so light browns, dark browns, and black. This one is my purples, pinks and purples. So I'm missing like four here. Um, greens and blues only have nine that are depotted. We have this um, list that one of my subscribers actually saw and read in the back, which is really funny. I didn't think anyone would really see it. It's MSF that I don't have, and then I just mark it off when I do get it. So that's that. And then the last one is um, my MAC Pro eyeshadow colors. So that's what that is. And that's all my MAC um, palettes. Alright. Alright, then um, my nail polishes. So I have two racks, and then on the left one, which you're looking at right now, are my nail art um, polishes, some top coats and base coats, some Zoya polishes on the second um, row, some Orally on the third. Then OPI, MAC, and Sephora by OPI. And then the last one is like mini polishes from Sally Hansen, OPI, and SE. Alright, and then the one on the right, um, that one is just all China Glaze. Um, from red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And then the bottom one is just um, black all the way to white. And that's what that is and then we go on oops um, oh let me just tell you real quick these where I kept my palettes were from the container store okay and then on to this area that's where all my MSFs are located plus the couple that I have in my um little acrylic box thing that you saw earlier but um, 
I don't think I'm going to go over all of them. But, yeah. So, you can just see what that looks like. I might just do a video on um, just MSFs. Because a lot of people have been asking, like, what you use them for and all that. But then, the actual, like, display they're on, they're, it's like, um, if you look at my um, container store haul, they're actually from the kitchen, like, area from the container store. It's, um, like, a spice rack. Acrylic spice rack, which is like three tiers, so that fits perfectly in there. Okay, and then um, to the right of that, oops, um, I have like limited limited edition compacts, some like highlighting powders and some blushes. So like on top, I have um, the Hello Kitty one. This one is from um, Liberty of London, Faffy, Dame Edna, Neo Sci-Fi, Emmanuel and Garo. Another Faffy and Style Warriors. Then I have some from like the Honey, Naked Honey collection, I think. Um, uh, Rose Romance. And um, this one was from Mac and Lilyland. And the Forecast collection, the Blush Ombre, right there. Then on the bottom, just like random blushes. Have some from um, Neo Sci Fi, as you can see right there. Some Hello Kitty ones right here right here. Um, have some from the um, Style Warriors collection and from the Liberty of London collection. And some mineralized ones as well. Okay. So that's that. Then to the right I have um, my MAC lipsticks and lip glasses. And then these lipstick containers I also got from the um, container store. You guys saw this in my haul. <clears throat> um, a couple of the ones I guess I'll tell you about are just some that I like. So these are the lip treatments. Um, the prep and prime, the conditioner, another prep and prime in the back. Um, these two are my favorites. Peach stock and Brave New Bronze, also freckle tone. These are some Viva Glams back here. And then to the right, I have um, some Dazzle glasses in the back, some cream sheens, some other limited edition ones, Hello Kitty, um, Liberty of London, and all that good stuff. So that's all that's on my desk. Oh yeah, and I didn't go over it, but I also had the, um, the Alice in Wonderland palette that was by my jewelry tree. So onto the drawers. Alright, so this part's going to be like what's in my drawers, or the drawer set. So on top here, I have um, the Hello Kitty MAC brush set. Then in it I have um, the Viva Glam um, perfumes. So the Couture Couture, Viva Le Juicy, and just the regular Juicy Couture. Um, a MAC brush um, cleaner, Viva Le Juicy, that spray you saw from Bath & Body Works. Some other perfumes in the back. And then my contacts. That looks like it's bubbling. Okay. <laughs> so the first drawer here, well, this this drawer set's all MAC, pretty much. And then the rest, you'll see what's in the rest. So here I like to organize like foundations and stuff. So I have the um, Studio Sculpt Face and Body um, Studio. Oh no, mineralized satin finish, and then the studio fluid. Oops, right there. And then I have um, that mineralized foundation and the tech, but I don't use it anymore. I need to back to math that one. Um, some the setting powder and um, some iridescent powder that I got a while back. And then back here I have scrub cream, prep and prime, um, like brow stuff and curling the lash curler back there and some mascara all right so oh and this jar set um both of these i actually got from office depot a lot of people have been asking so it is office depot okay and then this um drawer i have all my um like single shadows i guess i haven't depotted these yet so most of them i get through um uh the cco so it's like, um, I think 10 or 10.25 each. So I have some from Neo Sci-Fi, 
Lifestyle Warriors, a couple other ones. He had some permanent ones also. So that's there. Here I have um, paint pots in the back. I just have four of them. And then I have um, a shade stick and a grease paint in the back. And then these are some mineralized shadows. I have four of them in the back. And then third drawer. Um, I have MAC pigments. And then these um, stacked pigments that came with the um, forecast collection. Oops. So these right here, I didn't stack them up. Um, I have some sample pigment, um, just empty jars. And then here I have more um, MAC pigments in the vial form. And then what me, my sister, and one of our close friends like to do is um, share our pigments. So that's like a good idea because we never go through one of these. So we get the MAC jars and like swap pigments. <clears throat> so I actually have a lot back here too. Okay, so that's that. And this jar is all my eyeshadow palettes. So I have um, the Tone Gray Quad Photo Realism, I think, in the gallery. Notoriety. Uh, Shadowy Lady. Tempting. Spice Chocolate. Some Bobby Quads back there. Um, these two, I don't even know, remember what they're called. Oh, it's from the Color Forecast Collection. The four from the Holiday Collection. I have the two Hello Kitty ones right here. Um, the two Trip Collections that you saw in my recent um, haul video. Two Graphic Garden Collection palettes and a Dame Edna one in the back. So I really, really, really love this drawer. I love collecting palettes, as you guys already know. Palettes and MSFs. <clears throat> this one's just a random one. Really random. Um, oops. Move you back. Some like cream blushes, optimistic orange, really old one, fancy ray. These ones are my tender tones and some um, lip conditioners from MAC. In the back are just like holiday um, lip glasses, lip pencils, and some backup stuff right there. And then this is my last MAC drawer actually. It's like my backup drawer type thing. So these are like the Volcanic Ash um, Exfoliator and Thermal Mask, Brush Cleaner, some um, MAC Lip Glasses, a Prep and Prime, some lip products um, from Hello Kitty. I have two of these. I have I bought one when it first came out and then, oops, another from the CCO. Some beauty powders, blush, blush, and then two ow, MSFs in the back. That is it. All right. And this is just other high-end, like, makeup. No order at all, at all. So this is um, benefit items. So Moonbeam, the Tinted Moisturizer Primer, some NARS items and Smashbox items, um, Bare Minerals, Mineral Veil, some Stila items right here, eyeshadow. A moisturizer, some um, eyeliners I haven't used, some cargo things that are still in the box that I bought when they were, I think, 75% off. Oh, and these white um, drawer things I got at um, Walmart for like a dollar for a pack. Really great to like organize your stuff. This one's just <laughs> like boxes and stuff. I need to throw them away. This is um, the perfume set that I got that you saw up top. This is what it came in. Okay, so this one's just um, MAC bags, oops, that, so like makeup bags, there's one in here, oops, I don't know if it'll come out, hold on, so it looks like that, I thought I'd put like my brushes in there, before I got the brush roll, I have this right here, another brush thing, and then one from the Graphic Gardens that I haven't even used. And last thing is just random stuff, some makeup remover, some um, so I keep my contact um, items, some moisturizer, lotion, like clear care, bubbly contact solution thing. It supposedly takes off the protein. Oh, that's what I don't like. If you can see right here, you probably can't. Um, it comes off the track. So that's like one of the bad things about it, but uh, 
and it doesn't want to go in. There you go. All right. Okay, and then, um, so that's one jar set. And then the next one is actually a full jar set as well. It came with the 10 um, single drawers and then the five next to it. So it's actually two jar sets that I put side by side. Okay, so up top I have like this big Hello Kitty mirror that I use all the time for my, um, my makeup application. So this is all my drugstore items. So this is um, uh, foundations and stuff. So I have the Revlon Photo Ready, the powders, um, Hard Candy, NYX, um, L'Oreal. If you guys know how to use this, let me know because I really didn't like it. But that's a primer thing. Some um, mascara. I don't have a lot of mascara. I think one is good enough. And this thing that you guys saw, which is like a trimmer, a brow trimmer. Some NYX stuff back here. Some like concealer stuff, I don't know. Some e.l.f. items back here. And that's a benefit item actually. Okay, next drawer is like my blushes and um, what is it called? Bronzers. So right here are all hard candy um, blushes and bronzers, I think. This is um, some Dream Matte mousses down here. These I got for 75% off. So these are like the Milani items, Revlon one. More Milani back here, 75% off. Some NYC. I don't really use the ones back here often. Some NYX items back here, Physician's Formula. More NYX and all that stuff. So that's what that is. This one is eyeshadows. So these are um, Revlon palettes that you saw in my haul. Single shadows. Some of them I got for 75% off. Woohoo! Some hard candy, or actually all the hard candy eyeshadows from Walmart. And then some hip ones back here. Got them, I think, buy one, get one free or something. <coughs> These are fake MAC pigments, fake MAC pigments, that I got from um, Gina when she left to New York. She didn't have a place to put them, so she thought she'd give them to me. So I still have them. They're all here. just have some sample pigment jars here, too. <clears throat> like I said, they're fake, so they don't have names or anything, but they're pigments. Pigments are pigments. This one's just really random palette eyeshadow jar that I really don't use. So these are all like LA colors down here. More LA colors, LA colors. Some e.l.f. Um, a Sephora palette down here. This Everblenna, I think that's how you say it. Eyeshadow palette that I got from the Philippines. I guess that's like a good brand. Island Girl palette back here from Hawaii. And that's that. Okay, and then here, just more random stuff. Some Jessie Girl items, some palettes that color my world Mineral shadows, I think. More random stuff. Um, Revlon shadows, I think, that I got from Big Lots. <coughs> Elf, um, LA Colors, NYX, NYC, Island Girl, Revlon. Down here, are my lip products. To have um, NYX lipsticks. Lipsticks. The Revlon Not So Nude. Is that what it's called? Soft Nude, I mean. Um, Rimmel, uh, Hard Candy, NYX. Mm -hmm. This one broke. I got it broken and I didn't want to exchange it so I was like whatever. And I kept it. But this is all lip glosses. <clears throat> A lot of NYX. Um, my EOS, the Evolution of Smooth Lip Balms. Um, some lip pencils back here. Um, NYX. Then back here. Whoa. I have Burt's Bees, um, Revlon back there. Um, just random. Oh, I think this is Bethany Body Works, the Seal Big Low ones. And, yeah, it's really random stuff. Here are things I don't use in the back, which are, well, I use these sometimes. These are my, um, disposable contacts, some NYC, Jane, Physicians Formula stuff back there. And this is some of the items that I was supposed to give away during my, um, what is it called? My scavenger hunt. So I have, like, 
extra photo ready, some hip items, some nail items, some physician's formula, some Revlon shadows, some nail polishes, some um, L'Oreal color juice tube things, Liplicious, all that. So watch out for those scavenger hunts, I'm going to have one soon. This is all my candles by Victoria stuff that you saw in one of my other videos to take out of the um, little tart warmer, I guess. And so that's that. I have a lot of the Lush dupes. Okay, so then up top on the right of this drawer set, so this is connected, the big jars and the little drawers. So the first one right here, I have just random like nail polish items. Oops. So I'll show you guys real quick. Ow. Um, acetone, really, really good one. Oops. <laughs> this one, I really, really like that one. Some cotton swab, swab type things back there. And then in, I don't know if you can see, but on this side, let me take this out. Oops. This side, this bucket has all my nail rits. Um, nail polishes, some nail polish thinner this really cool um, little pump thing for my acetone and so so alright and then this little box thing it just holds like some files some um, rhinestones nail, nail clippers and all that good stuff See? so this one is more nail polishes that won't fit on the racks so I just recently got this Conad stamping set and just, I don't, yeah, you can probably see all of this random polishes, um, simple colors, mm, nail rits, um, Rimmel, the Sally Hansen stuff, finger paints, some china glaze back here that won't fit anymore, and some hard candy ones, this, oops, nail pen thing that I don't like, so that's what's in that drawer. This drawer is all my NYX stuff. So I have NYX palettes back here that I made from eyeshadows. This, whoops, my jumbo eye pencils that I melted and put in here. Alright, next drawer is all my hair products. I guess I'll show you some that I really like. This that I showed in one of my favorites. Short, sexy hair, play dirty wax. Batiste um, dry shampoo. Really, really, really like this. The Enzo Milano. Um, I don't know what it is. Uh, super light hairspray, but it really holds good. Some other stuff in here. Got this Gatsby hair wax. And just a lot of like clips. And this is what I use. This and this for um, when I use my hair straightener. Okay, so that's that. And then the last, last, last drawer is just my hair stuff. So I have an Enzo Milano, um, my hair straightener right here, and my hair cutting stuff in here. So I have my razor, uh, shears, and oops, a thinner. Because you guys ask me about my hair, I do my own hair and this is what I use. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, again, I did this for you guys. Uh, I wasn't trying to show off or anything like that. I hope it didn't come across that way. Um, and I just hope you guys really, really, really enjoyed it. It was my little gift to you guys. Happy one year to us. And yeah, thanks to all the old and new subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thanks for the support. And if you guys have any other comments, questions, requests, please leave them down here or email me. And I will try and get back.
my makeup collection and storage. Um, so, <laughs> Not a quick, oh, quick, quick video. Uh, put off. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um. Okay. Okay. 